Hey guys. So yellow eyeshadows have been a trend now for at least a couple of months. Uh, so many companies have put one in their eyeshadow palettes. Uh, one example would be the L'Oreal Paradise Enchanted, but there have been tons of others that just had that pop. Um, Maybelline's Lemonade Craze is another example. So you've been seeing yellow eyeshadows all over the place. I bought some single pressed eyeshadows from Amuse um, when I placed my order on Shop Miss A. And one of the ones that I got was this. So this is a pretty intense but true yellow. And this one is called... It's just, it just says yellow. Wow, that's weird. I could have sworn that it had like a cute name to it, but no, it just says yellow. So I'm going to use that today and show you how I use it. And I'm also going to give you a couple other ideas how I think yellow looks best when incorporated into an eye look. I've already applied lots of products to my face already. I'm going to start with the highlighter because I don't know that I've used this highlighter in a video before and it's so pretty and I think that if you were to see it at the store you might look at the color and think no that won't work for me. You'd be surprised. Experiment with highlighter colors because you really don't know how they're gonna look until they're on because the first time I saw this I thought no I, I can't wear this. And I thought about it and thought about it and I was like, oh, this is so pretty though. I bought it. I'm so glad I did because it it looks, well, you'll see because that's what I'm going to start with. What am I talking about? Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in Golden Flower Crown. Now, at first glance, it, it's, like a, it's like a golden peach. But at first glance, you might be thinking, oh yeah, this would look beautiful on medium skin tones, but not you, Deb. <laughs> um, well, I tried it out, and I think it looks fine. I'm going to use the Wet n Wild highlighting brush from the new uh, Fire Dragon vs. Ice Dragon collection coming to a store near you soon, <laughs> or to the Wet n Wild website. I realize that most of the time when I apply my highlighter, I don't apply it wet, so I'm going to apply it wet today just to kind of switch things up. So I'm going to spray my brush with MAC Fix Plus. Just one spritz is plenty. I, I see people doing multiple spritzes sometimes and I, I feel like that's too much. I think one spritz is plenty to wet your brush sufficiently, otherwise it's actually going to be dripping. Okay, so I'm just going to put some product on my brush and go right across the top of my cheekbones and then up into the temple area. Do that draping technique. Okay, I may need to adjust my uh, lighting to show you the the effect here. Yeah, I'm going to need to uh, adjust my lighting. I, I've got the lighting kind of bright today, so let's um, change it up a little bit and um, see how this looks instead. Okay, I changed the lighting, but I'm still not really seeing this, so I'm going to put a little bit more on. So it's like a, it's like a golden peach. I don't know why it's not showing up because it usually, usually this is not a problem. The lighting outside today is kind of weird, so it might be the lighting, but you can kind of see it right here. Right across there. 
This should be showing up better than that, though. Well, anyways, take my word for it. It's really pretty, and it's not too dark of a color for a light skin tone, is my point. Okay, let's get started on the eyes. I'm going to start with a little bit of LA Colors Eyeshadow Primer. Available at very select family dollars. <laughs> And if I'm laughing, it's because um, I've talked about this before, how hard this is to find. It's too bad because it's such a good product. Oh, shoot, I got a little bit down there. I don't know how the heck I did that. Just going to make sure I blend this really well. So I've done all my face products now and I did my brows. So I'm going to do the eyes and lips with you. Okay, eyelid area is primed. So next I'm going to take my LA Colors Contour Stick in the shade Highlighter. And I'm going to put some of this in the brow area, just blend it in with my finger. This is a uh, subtle highlighter because I want the focus to be on the eyeshadows on my lid and crease area. So that's just going to give me a little bit of a goldish shimmer there. Okay, the next color I'm going to use is from the LA Colors Matte Eyeshadow Palette in Mattifying. Uh, they have these at the, they, there's usually a display right at the register at Family Dollar, and everything on that display is LA Colors and it's a dollar, as opposed to the stuff that's in the regular section, which is more than a dollar. But um, I use the, um, the palette Matterific to do my brows every day. I just bought a backup of that the other day because I've hit pan on that and I love that to do my brows. It's just just the right color for me. I'm going to use this one today though in mattifying because I'm going to use this shade right here as my transition shade. I'm going to put that on with a Wet n Wild blending brush from their $1 line. And I'm going to start, as always, in the outer corner and do small circles and buff that inward. I'm just picking up on a little bit more. Move on to the other eye. The shadows in these palettes remind me a lot of the consistency of the shadows in the Anastasia palettes. Not the singles, but in the palettes, the, the texture is very similar. So if you like that, and you don't want to spend that much money, there's four different palettes. Um, one has like a blue, a gray, a white, and I forget what the fourth color is. And then um, there's another one that has like purples and a pink. But these are they get the two that I use the most are the neutral colored ones. So can't go wrong for a buck. You can also find these at um, Dollar Tree sometimes. 
All right, I want to make sure that I got enough of this on and in the right place because the next color that we're going to apply is the yellow. And I'm going to use my um, shader brush from Harman Face Values, which I got inside of a Christmas tree shop. So we're going to go in with this small shader brush and I'm going to very carefully place that directly in the crease area and I'm just sort of placing it right now. I'm not really blending it. Just want to get it in the right space or area that I want it. Then I'm going to go in with another brush. This is by Real Techniques. I'm going to blend it out a little bit. Because this is a pressed pigment, so it's a little bit chunky and doesn't go on, you know, nice and even or anything. So this definitely has to be blended. Whereas if this was from like an eyeshadow palette, probably could have done the placement and the blending at the same time. But this goes on a little patchy. But the color is really intense on these. I have them in multiple colors. Okay, I'm having a little bit of trouble blending that, so I'm going to wet my brush with this Mac Fix Plus. We'll see if that helps a little bit. All right, that seems to be better. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this Princessa Pearl Pigment and this is number 112 and you can get these at shopmasse.com and this is a Zoeva crease brush and even though I'm putting it on the lids I'm using the crease brush because with pigments I like to use a fluffy brush so like I said this is number 112 and this is a peach. So peach is one of the shades that I would pair with yellow. If peach is not your thing, brown or bronze also looks very nice with yellow. And you probably, if you're like everybody else, you probably have a million brown eyeshadows in your collection. But a shimmery one is going to look pretty with the yellow in the crease. Okay, so I put some pigment in the cover and I'm just tapping off the excess. And now I'm going to dust this right on the lid. Okay, so what I just did off camera was I just blended that yellow a little bit because it still looked a little chunky to me. I'm going to use the Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil in Hot Chocolate. I'm going to switch it up and use brown today because I know I use black 90% of the time. 
So I'm going to put some of this on my waterline. And on my tight line. Curl my lashes. Apply some Max Factor Wild Mega Volume Volumizing Mascara. Found this at Big Lots and wanted to try it. The brush on this reminds me of a jumbo version of the L'Oreal Paradise Mascara. It's pretty much the same thing except bigger. Looks like I missed a little section with the eyeliner there. Okay, now I'm going to go in with my Zoeva small pencil brush. I'm going to pick up some more of that peach pigment by Princessa. That's a lot of peas. <laughs> And drag that down along the lower lash line. Probably should have done that before I put the mascara on. <laughs> and um, I'm going to take the brush that I've been using to blend the yellow and very carefully, like with the very point of it, just drag some of that yellow on the first half. Okay, I'm going to do the other eye, finish the other eye, and be right back. Okay, so I wanted to show you that just because you're using a yellow eyeshadow doesn't mean it has to be a crazy wham-in-your-face look. This is a very soft um, peach and yellow look that is totally wearable, and you could wear this wherever, wherever you wanted to. Uh, now, if you wanted it to be more intense, just use a darker shade of peach. The one that I chose to use today is a very light peach, and so it's just giving me a nice slight wash of pearly, pearly peach powder. Again, with the peas. <laughs> okay, so for lips, what am I going to do for lips? I'm going to start, of course, with my Color Mates nude lip liner that I use with everything now. I've got a million lip liners, and <laughs> this is the only pencil I use. I love this. goes with everything. So I'm just going to line my lips, not fill them in. And for lipstick today... I bought a new shade of the L'Oreal Color Riche Shine lipsticks. Uh, I bought one maybe a month ago when they first came out, and I really like it. And I was looking at the colors the other day, and I saw this. It's called Dazzling Doe. It's number 902. If you haven't tried these lipsticks yet since they've been launched, they are really, really gorgeous. So this is a brownish nude, but when it's applied on your lips and combines with your natural lip color, of course, it's going to look different depending on what your natural lip color is. So let me show you what it looks like. So it's 
sort of mutes your natural color a little bit and just kind of tweaks it. Let me show you what this looks like swatched. So yeah, it's like a, it's just like a light brown. And I love this. I think that this lipstick would go with pretty much anything. Uh, especially things though that are more on the warmer side. So, yeah, let me wipe that swatch off so that I don't get it on myself. <laughs> So those are my recommendations for how to use yellow eyeshadow. I would say put it in the crease and put it with a shimmering peach, brown, or bronze. And I think you will find that yellow is not such a crazy color to work with after all and can be part of just an everyday look. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.